In this video I'm going to talk you through how to set up dwell clicking on your ultra joystick and also how to change the cursor speed settings. Dwell clicking if you're not sure what it is, is for users who find it difficult to use a switch to select the item. So what they rely on is moving the cursor into where it needs to be to select something, allowing some time to uh, go by and then that cursor then clicks for them. You can operate the dwell click with left click, right click, double click and drag lock as well. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and use it with just a left click. So the first thing you need to do with dwell click on the ultra joystick is to put it into learn mode 2. So we've seen how to put it into learn mode 1. It's as simple as holding down the feature button on the side, the middle button between the two switches. In this instance, to put it into learn mode 2, you need to do that again, but also press the switch that is in switch port 1. You get that ascending beep again to note that you're into learn mode 2. Now while you're in learn mode 2, um, the first thing to note is that the two switches are required again. <clears throat> the switch that's in switch port 1 determines what function the dwell click will perform and the switch that's in switch port 2 will determine the time setting, so how long will before that dwell click happens. As before, the first time you press the button it will determine what setting it's already in. So it'll tell you how many beeps for the corresponding action or time setting. Then you'll need to cycle through the options if you wish to change them. So first of all, we'll press the switch in switch one. And that one, that one beep tells me that dwell click is currently off, which is the default setting. So if I want to change that to left click, it's I need two beeps. And there's my two beeps. So now that's set up that dwell click will left click. Now how long do I want it to dwell for? Now you get anything between 1 and 5 seconds and by default it should be on 3. And there's my 3 beeps. Now if I want it to dwell a bit longer, I can have 4 seconds or 5 seconds. Or I can have it shorter and it cycles back to 1 second. 2 seconds and back to 3. For the sake of the demonstration I'll just leave it on 3 so you can see how an average sort of 3 second time dwell click works. And then when you're finished it's as simple as pressing the button and let it, letting it come out of learn mode 2. Now, ideally with dwell click, you won't need switches. So we'll get rid of those. And now we have dwell, dwell click set up as left click. It should be as simple as moving uh, around to the, the part of the screen that we want to click on and you'll see it do it after three seconds. So we'll try to navigate to a menu option and there's your click after three seconds. We'll do that again by going back. And it takes us back to the home page. So if you had problems with using switches or a secondary button, you can simply hover over what you need to click on and it'll do it after a matter of seconds. And that's dwell click, it's as simple as that. Now also we can determine how quick the cursor speed moves, if you need it to move slower or faster. It's, as re it's a really, really simple as using the feature button and cycling through the speeds when you're not in a learn mode. So you'll hear the beeps again. One beep is slowest, two beep goes up a bit faster, three beeps even faster, four beeps the fastest setting. So on one, you'll see that the cursor speed is extremely slow. No matter how much movement I give it, it'll take quite a while to move across the screen. And then if I change to setting 4, you'll see much more movement in the cursor there. And that's completely adaptable to suit whatever needs you require. So that's dual click and changing the cursor speed. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you can get stuck into the Ultra Joystick now and really get uh, sink your teeth into this really flexible, robust uh, mouse alternative.